you know, he's going to be a problem on the field for, for NFL defensive backs just at his size and, and some of the things he can do. He does things that a lot of small receivers, 5'10", 6' foot tall, do well. And he's, you know, 6'3", 6'4", and 220 pounds. So he's definitely going to be a problem. A pit bull, man, he's aggressive. And that's a kid that's willing to make a play for a team. He's, he's aggressive and uh, he's a big time player. I call myself, I'm a Brinks truck. It's a big armored truck full of money. That's me, you know, I'm a big body. I'm like a Calvin Johnson or Mike Evans. Somebody that's big, you know, goes up there, gets the ball, bully the little DBs. Trayvon's gonna be successful in the NFL because he has that mindset, I have to do more, I have to do extra. And as a coach, you love that. Putting the extra work in after practice, before practice, you're the first one in, the last one to leave, and that's Trayvon Grimes. I'm Trayvon Grimes, and I play football. Uh, my schedule has pretty bit, much been the same schedule for the last eight, nine weeks now. Um, every morning I get up, eat breakfast, you know, and then um, I work out from um, 9 o'clock to around 11, 11.30. He popped up again on that four out, three back. So you got to work, when you're warming up, you got to work that four out, three back more. You got to be quicker there. That's where you're, you're losing a lot of time. You got to be able to set up correctly that four, out three, back. four out, three back. But at this level with these guys, if we're a tenth of a second or two tenths of a second off, it literally could just be one step. Our program, we're, we're pretty well known for, for defensive backs and wide receivers, and in particular, helping produce some fast times for big wide receivers. So he kind of falls right into the mold that does really well with our program. We want to make sure that if, if the NFL is going from top to bottom as far as you know agility and speed and jumping ability and position drills, that we check more boxes than the guy that's projected similar to where Trayvon is at. If we can do that, that gives us a good opportunity to, to potentially jump that kid in the draft, and that's the goal. Earlier, um, when I kept messing up in the 5-10-5 the, uh, drill, it was frustrating for me because I wanted to get it right, get it right so fast, but sometimes you got to learn on this road to doing what we're doing, people are going to tell you you're not going to be able to do certain things. And if I tell myself I can and I know I can, then I will be able to do it. Get tired. It's, it's hard to stand up all day without having a nap. So after, after my nap, I nap for about two, two hours, hour and a half, and then um, I go to my second trainer, which is more of the actual workout. Um, where it's weights and pump lift and, you know, you get swole. Hey, guys, listen, if you do this the right way, you'll be in and out in 45 minutes. Does that make sense? Hey, we've got dumbbell bench. Bang this out, go heavy, get some protein, go home, yes? yes. Here we go. Warm up on the dumbbell bench. Trayvon, first of all, has that, that prototypical uh, wide receiver body. You know, 6'4", 6'5", coming in, he's built. You almost have to pull the reins back on Trayvon and say, Trayvon, there's a reason I wrote the strength program like this, and there's, there's science behind it, and I appreciate that you want to work harder and you want to do extra, but I don't want to get you hurt. Trayvon's going to be successful in the NFL because he has that mindset, I have to do more, I have to do extra. Three, Three yeah. all day. Five, four, all day. 120, man. Five, all day. Five. One more, down and up. Good job. Good job, Trey. He can't undercut you. That's right. That's good. That's good. That's good. But the same thing replies to the curl than it is to the comeback. What? It means I got to be able to run out of the break. That means I got to beat this guy to a point, right? It's all about who has the best angle. That's why separation wins. So your angle coming out this break got to be better than the DB. That's it. I've been coaching Trayvon, I would say, maybe three years. Today we're just working on a little bit of transition. Okay, top end of the routes, you know, he's going to do some over-the-shoulder catches, which is work on his ball tracking skills. Coach Holt, that's my guy. He's taught me a lot. It's funny, um, when I tore my ACL 2016, that year taught me a lot um, about myself mentally, being having to get over a, a hump, um, being a top receiver in the country, coming out of high school, and then tearing my ACL and kind of being forgot about takes a lot on you. Uh, he's a very phenomenal coach, and you know, life lessons he's taught me is, you know, be loyal to the ones that um, were loyal to you, and you know, stay level-headed and don't get too big-headed because it all can be taken away from you in the blink of an eye. He's a fast kid, man. He's a good kid. I remember the first day we took him out to the football field, an actual football field. He was tiny, but the second he picked up a football, we were like, this is him. This is exactly what he needs to be doing. And he just ran with it ever since. And it's like really, it's like, like really good motivation to see him out on that field and just to see like a bigger role model. It's like seeing an older me. 
His hand's trash, but I think his route running. It's all right. I'm better though. <laughs> I think he's good at the mental game too, like because it's a. I mean, it's a lot of mental when you're when you're one on one. Of course, it's our brother, and he we see him work his butt off. And he's like, I mean, the only reason somebody's better than you is because they work harder than you. And I know that he he works hard every day of his life. So, when it comes to success, uh, my success is based off of uh, the things that they've helped me get through. Like I said, um, you know, nothing's ever been. Uh, a straight road in my opinion. It's, there's been a lot of obstacles and a lot of things that we've had to get through as a family. Um, at the end of the day, I, you know, I know what I gotta do. I know my goal. I know what I want to be in life. And, and not one thing anybody can say is gonna stop me from getting there, so. These are my first tattoos. That I got one covered, no. This one, which is a T, and then I got this one covered up. You can kind of still see the G. I got my mom's name. Um, I have an I with three T's in it. One stands for, the biggest T is my oldest brother, the little middle T is me, and then the little T is this guy. And then it has uh, teardrops, so it represents like all the stuff we've been through, we've seen together. Uh, most recent one, you know, um, is a memorial tap to my pops. Um, the past, just knowing he's watching over me, so that's the one that I care about the most. Wherever he goes, he's gonna shine. So whether it's first or third or whatever, he's gonna go on to any team and be an asset right off the bat. And uh, he is ready and willing to prove himself. When he came to Florida and he had to prove himself, and then he got to high school and had to prove himself, and then he got to college. And so it's a constant battle. It's never, it's never over. So you always have to be better than the next person. And so that's just the way Trayvon thinks and that's the way he trains. He's a unique uh, threat on the football field. He's big. He's fast, he's strong, he catches the ball well, he high points the ball well, he runs good routes. So he, he's a, a little bit of a unique animal. There's no roof on his ceiling. He's a big time kid. He's gonna be a, a good player, uh, whatever opportunity he has. He's a top level kid, he's been that way. He's a high competitor and he's a winner. A scenario for me on draft day, you know, is just hearing my name called. Growing up, I've, my dream was to get to the NFL. I see myself as somebody that works hard, um, wants to be perfect, that will do anything he can to be perfect. You know, sometimes you mess up and you gotta be okay with that. So I, I, I think that um, I've, I've grasped that concept very well and it's got me to where I am today and, and I'm just gonna keep building on that.